Shedinja is banned in competitive hacked Pokemon known as Balanced Hackmons. But interestingly, it was only banned in Generation 8. It is not banned in earlier generations of Hackmons. Hackmons is a format where you can use hacked Pokemon. That means you can use any Pokemon with any ability with any moves with maxed out EVs. However, even amongst hacked Pokemon, certain hacked Pokemon are better than others and certain hacked Pokemon are overpowered. This is why balanced Hackmons is the preferred hacked Pokemon format, because you can ban overpowered strategies like pure power on every Pokemon. It's a paradox in a way, because in a literal sense, without bans you would have more options, but practically you would have less options because the best abilities would be the only ones worth using. The diversity of realistically possible abilities would be very low. In fact, I've even made a video about how pure Hackmons, Hackmons without any bans, is considered an unplayable format because of how awesome it is. That is why bans exist in four fun formats, to keep the game fun. Shedinja is one of those banned Pokemon. And if you like my content, consider hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. It's free and doesn't cost you anything. We'll first talk about why it was banned, and then why it wasn't banned before. Shedinja uses the ability Sturdy, and that combines with its 1 HP to become effectively invincible. Attacking Pokemon cannot break through with regular attacks. Then, Shedinja uses moves like Endeavor or Pain Split to inflict huge damage by taking advantage of that 1 HP. Of course, Shedinja can be dealt with through other forms of damage, but it wasn't considered to be enough and it was banned. One idea is to use Rocky Helmet to mess up Shedinja's Endeavor. But Shedinja actually uses the item Protective Pads on its Endeavor movesets and uses Pain Split on movesets with a different item. The trade-off is that Endeavor does a lot more damage than Pain Split, but it essentially forces you into using Protective Pads as your item. In any case, Rocky Helmet is not a reliable answer. Toxic is the next logical idea, but it has its own problems. For one, Ditto's ability, Imposter, is common on a lot of Pokemon like Chansey. Using Imposter means you can find out your opponent's movesets. As a result, it's very difficult to surprise Shedinja with a Toxic. Furthermore, Poison Heal is a common ability in balanced Hackmons. Toxic is a very low value move because there aren't many targets to hit besides Shedinja. Burn is another idea, but it's a very low value status condition compared to something like Paralysis or the now banned Sleep, which are much more impactful overall. Oftentimes, it's just the opportunity cost of it. Shedinja is used to shut down offensive Pokemon, and powerful sweepers often do not want to waste a valuable move slot just for something like Shedinja with a move like will o -Wisp especially when imposter scouting can reveal the move earlier anyway. Moldbreaker Pokemon can break Shedinja, but Moldbreaker reveals itself on Switch and Shedinja can just switch out. Weather can beat Shedinja, but weather strategies are uncommon and using a weather ability just for Shedinja is a huge investment for only one Pokemon. There are moves that ignore abilities like Sunsteel Strike, but Double Iron Bash is much better than Sunsteel Strike, and if you use Sunsteel Strike, it's essentially an inferior move that only hits Shedinja. Photon Geyser is not a good move overall because its base power is low for a coverage move and Psychic doesn't hit much super effectively in the Hackmon sphere. Moongeist Beam is an option though and it has other uses like hitting through Pokemon with Ice Scales and there are other ideas too like Leech Seed or Trapping Moves, but these moves are often not worth it overall and are mainly anti Shedinja tactics only. The issue with these counterplay options is that even if you do use them, there's a more fundamental issue. The movesets can be scouted with Imposter and Shedinja can merely switch out. You can't surprise Shedinja when the Shedinja user can figure out all your movesets. You end up in a tough situation where all your offensive Pokemon need to run something for Shedinja, but those offensive Pokemon also need coverage to defeat other defensive Pokemon. Shedinja was banned because it offered too great an advantage for too little cost. But there is one somewhat obvious topic that I haven't talked about yet and is probably the first thing on your mind. What about Stealth Rock? And therein lies the difference between Generation 8 and previous generations. Shedinja has always been a controversial Pokemon and was almost banned in earlier generations, but what clearly pushed it over the edge in Generation 8 was Heavy Duty Boots. Shedinja could now make itself immune to hazards. Additionally, hazard control itself was improved for the non-Heavy Duty Boots movesets like Protective Pads. New moves like Court Change and Rapid Spin itself getting improved made Hazards worse off than before. Also, Pursuit was removed from the game, so you could no longer Moldbreaker Pursuit Trap Shininja. These changes were ultimately the last straw on the camel's back and turned Shininja from a borderline ban-worthy threat 
to a definitely ban-worthy threat, and it was banned from the Hackmon's tier. If you like videos about competitive hacked Pokemon, check out my video about why pure Hackmon's is a terrible format.